Over 600 cases have been reported in four months following the outbreak of Ebola in Democratic Republic of Congo. The director of World Health Organization, Tedros Adhanom, says the cases would have increased if there was no vaccine. In neighboring countries, uh, Uganda's preparedness is strong. Not only it uh, has a strong preparedness to uh, uh, help itself, but it's also helping uh, the region. Uh, which is uh, bringing result, uh, which, which I said, in the control uh, of uh, Ebola. Uh, so we will give it. We will continue to give it our best. And if we do, uh, I, I'm sure uh, we will uh, control uh, the outbreak as soon as possible. He commended Uganda for its preparedness to help in the fight. Chidros said they were still lobbying for more vaccines to vaccinate UPDF soldiers. Uh, we commended uh, His Excellency the Prime Minister and his government and Uganda for uh, uh, ratifying the bill on universal health coverage, especially on health care financing. Uh, and uh, this is a very important uh, step. The Prime Minister, Dr. Hakana Rugonda, said government is prepared to fight Ebola as well as lobbying for the Ebola vaccine. Opportunity to commend the team in Uganda, especially the Ministry of Health and other ministries, for the close collaboration they have had with WHO and for making sure that the necessary measures are taken uh, to protect the country and... Um, to also screen those who are seeking refuge in Uganda. Nevertheless, the problem still remains there. The key point is that it is a problem we must collaborate and defeat. And in this collaboration, World Health Organization provides the leadership. And we therefore commend uh, WHO and this Director General for the leadership. We commend the team. We commend the Ugandan team, which has used its old experience in handling epidemics. He said Ebola can be prevented by having an open-door policy, which Uganda has exhibited. The Prime Minister highlighted on the BDBD misunderstandings, which arose due to reduction in food supply. The Minister of State in charge of refugees, Honorable Musa Echeru, went visit the area and the matter has now been more or less sorted out. Uh, so the question of supply of food has been uh, reorganized. Sudat Kaye reporting. Thanks, Sudat, for that report.